Okay, and once again, you're going to go in and see it uh, shift color a little bit. Uh, it's going to go a little bit darker. You're going to start seeing that arrow, um, your pointer, right there in the corner or wherever you might have left it. Um, once you see that, that means that you're on the road to uh, go forward. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it here, and then we're going to go ahead and finish it up and then uh, install the other hard drive, and hopefully uh, that one will work. I'm not, uh, don't quote me on it. Okay, so here's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it here. All you need to do at this point is put it in your laptop, or the customer can put it in their laptop, and just follow through. Uh, the The software is on there. You will need to update it. You will need to run an update. It's going to talk to you, say, hey, uh, we got a built-in screen reader. Okay, obviously, if they live in Canada, they're going to choose Canada. If they're going to... I'm going to wait till it's done talking. Press the escape key. Okay. So, uh, if, it's, if you're in the United States, they're going to go ahead and choose United States, or they can choose Canada. And pretty much here, from here on, it's a self-explanatory uh, process. Okay? The software is on the unit. Okay? So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and turn it off, turn it back on. And I'm going to show you that it's going to come right here again. The only reason why I don't want to go forward with it is because I don't want to name the drive uh, because I don't know who this is belonging to. Uh, you know, uh, Joe Smith or whoever it might be, they have the right to put their name on there if they want to. So, uh, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off really quick. Um, the easiest way to do it would be to hold down Shift control option and the power button that's going to automatically turn your computer off i took the um usb out um uh, and we're going to go ahead and power it on again and you're going to hear it chime which is a good sign and uh, while we're listening waiting for that to happen um I'm going to go ahead and see. You have the Apple logo. You don't have a flashing folder. You don't have a um, error message or anything like that. It is ready to be in, to be um, put into whoever's name that you want to put it into. Um, and once again, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do it off of a USB. Normally, I do it with my um, Apple um yeah, DVD player, but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Um, just a FYI, the process is going to be a lot faster every single time you reboot the system. Okay, uh, it's going to take a very long time the first couple of times, and then before you know it, it's going to go bam, 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 very, very fast. Um, so, it just you need to be a little bit patient with it, especially if with the thirteen oh four. If you are planning to install Yosemite on it, which it now has. So, um, and as a matter of fact, you know what? I, I, I can just show you right off the bat. Um, we don't even need to wait. But I, I just want to show you where it goes once it's, once it's set up. So the customer can go forward from there. Uh, so I guess we'll just wait a couple more minutes uh, just so I can show. But I mean, I'll go ahead and restart it and then we can go again. And I can show you again um, what I mean by it. Um, the fans uh, is very normal. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but it's very normal for them to be uh, loud at this point. And see, it. the first time I did this it took about 15 minutes. The second time I did it took about 7 minutes. This time took about 3 minutes. So the boot time is going to get faster and faster every single time. Um, and since I did not go forward with it, once again, it's going to bring me to this window where it's going to choose. Okay. And just to prove another point, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn it off again. Um, easiest way, once again, is to shift, control, option, power button. You got to hold all three, all four buttons at the same time. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And then we're going to go ahead and hold that option button pretending like we're going to go ahead and uh, reinstall the software. I just want to prove a point that it is on the hard drive. Now, if your customer cannot see it, it is not the drive's fault. Okay? It is the customer's laptop or the customer's flex cable. That's the fault. 
All right, and as you can see, there it is right there. You have your recovery and your Mac OS HD. The recovery would be if you wanted to reinstall the software from the recovery mode, that's fine. But remember, when you do that, you need to actually go to the, uh, you need to go ahead and uh, choose the, um, the Wi-Fi that your network that, that you're on. So you need to have a Wi-Fi if you're gonna go ahead and use the recovery mode. Okay, so once again, it is there, it's ready. That drive is done. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the other drive and we'll be back to do it from a, from a, a USB uh, DVD player, all right? So just in case you guys were wondering how to do them, that's, I just wanna show both of them, okay? All right, so we'll be right back. 